Hey YouTube, so today I have got a review for you guys on um, Jaclyn Hill's Beauty Box from Sigma. I have been wanting to try Sigma brushes for quite a while but couldn't really justify it because um, despite being an online shopper with something like brushes I want to like have it right away and having no place to buy Sigma, Sigma near me I was just a little hesitant to spend that much on brushes that I couldn't see or feel and I've never, I've only seen YouTube videos on. Um, so when she came out with this beauty box, I saw the brushes that were involved and knew that I wanted to get it because um, there was a lot of different brushes that I was really interested in trying. The box goes for $90 and what you get in it is the tapered kabuki brush, the um, eye shading E55, the tape hi tapered highlighter, which is the F35, the tapered blending, which is the E40, the pencil E30, the blending, which is the E25, and then the also talked about Kabuki F80 brush. And the ones that I were I was most interested in trying were the F80, of course, because that seems to be a pretty good base to start with Sigma, and these two. Um, the E25 and E40, these two eye blending brushes. Overall, these are the first Sigma brushes that I've had, and honestly, when I got them, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to actually like these as much as I was hoping to. Um, I just, I felt them and they did feel soft, but I didn't see what was going to be out of the ordinary compared to any other brushes that I owned. I do have quite a few, well, not quite a few, but I have some favorites in my collection already, so I was worried that these were not going to be anything to stand out. Um, and then I use them on my face and oh my goodness, I love them. I will admit, I do think that Sigma is very pushed on YouTube and um, that they are over talked about and I would not purchase Sigma brushes unless I was able to get a specific kit like I was in this circumstance. Um, but if there was a brush that I was really curious about and I was like, oh, I really, really, really want to try that and it did not come in a kit, I would. I just wouldn't keep continuously buying them without them coming in some sort of set. Does that make sense? Let's hope it makes sense. Um, the F80 is really great. It's really nice to apply foundation. I have my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush that I love, my Marc Jacobs The Face 2 uh, brush that are just the two that I alternate between whenever I put on foundation and this really does glide over the skin. It makes buffing it into the skin very quick, very simple, and I love it. Um, the Tapered Kabuki was not my favorite, actually. I was really surprised because she talks, Jaclyn Hill talks very highly of this um, to use to set your under eye concealer, and um, it's, it is really good for that. I find it a little bit better to just kind of apply like highlighter or you can even use it to, um, I like to like get some blush and then put like a little bit on and then kind of like buff it out and swirl it around. Uh, this is not my absolute favorite brush but I can understand why people would like it and be drawn to it. The tapered highlighter brush is awesome. It is so good. I really like using it to highlight and I like to actually use it to contour. It makes for a really nice contour and then um, really easy to like buff it out and um, blend it out. So I was really surprised about this um, being kind of a duo brush. And then the eye brushes of the set, we have got the eye shading E55. Again, I didn't think there was going to be anything special with it. It is an eyeshadow brush that you, it's not a blending, you just are patting eyeshadow onto your eye. It's so soft, it makes it really easy just to... It really picks up, it does pick up the product really well. And it's so soft that it doesn't like pull at your eyes at all. It's not scratchy or anything like that. I like how delicate it is on the eye. The blending brush was not disappointed in it at all. Um, it makes your blending go by so quickly, so easily. Um, it becomes effortless and not a chore like I sometimes feel like blending can be. And again, with the tapered blending brush, just a little bit more fluffy and um, does a great job. I really like to use this when it's clean and if I have too many harsh lines or something, then just to blend it out without having actually any extra product on it. It's really nice for that use. And the last brush is the pencil brush, which is great for smudging into the under eye area like I have done today. Um, I really love it. It's really dense. It's not too harsh. At first I was like... It's a little bit hard, um, but it's really not as long as you are careful using it. Um, 
it just it feels really nice it fits well under that area very well so for $90 I would say that that is a pretty good deal I don't have the exact number memorized um, for how much this would be to buy them all individually I know it's over $100 and I will put it like right here um, how much it would actually be I think that this is a really great deal I think that Jacqueline did a really great job with it um, I am not a fan of the tapered kabuki. I would love for this to be swapped out for like a blush brush or something, um, but I'm a blush junkie. So, um, but overall, it's a really great deal. These Sigma brushes are really nice. They're really great quality if you can get them in a set. Um, I don't feel like they're something that you have to go out and just keep buying and buying and buying. They're not a necessity, but in the set, I'm really happy that I have these, and I would encourage anybody to um, order them before the set is sold out, which um, I have a feeling could be pretty quick. So. You have until Wednesday or unless the set is sold out. So go for it. Go for it. And um, that is all. My name is Kristen. I do film about two to three videos a week. And um, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, I would love for you to thumbs up and subscribe and see what other videos I have coming out. And until then, I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.